Welcome back to the Hawthorns as the international break is finally over and we have got a massive game for you guys today as West Bromwich Albion take on high flying Ipswich Town live on Sky Sports. Both teams are right up the top of the table. Uh, at the start of the day, Ipswich Town will level on points with the top of the league. Albion will level on, on points with the playoff places. It should be a very interesting game. West Bromwich Albion have kept the most clean sheets in the whole of the championship so far this season. Uh, we're very good defensively. Ipswich Town are very good at going forward and attacking. They've scored the most goals in the whole league. It should be an absolute cracker. It really does have the feeling of a massive game today. It's given me memories of a few years ago before COVID when we played Leeds United live on Sky Sports. I think it was about this time of year. Leeds United were high flying. Albion were in and around the playoff uh, places and we absolutely battered them 4-1. Now, I'm not saying uh, that's going to happen again today. Not, not at all. It's going to be a very difficult game. However, I, I think Carlos Corbran will set us up well uh, th this afternoon and I think we'll give Ipswich a very difficult game. Ipswich Town play some very nice football and uh, they're very good going forward. And uh, sometimes we, we've seen under Carlos Corbran, they, he, he, he tries to completely shut them out, out the game. I remember last season when we played Middlesbrough at the end of the last season, they was high flying, they were scoring a lot of goals. And we, we really, really kept the, the pitch narrow and kept Middlesbrough out, out of our box, even though we had very little possession and made it very difficult for them to play. I think we could see a very similar uh, performance to, to that game against Middlesbrough at the end of last season uh, this afternoon. Going into this game, uh, big news for the Albion is that John Swift and Josh Madger are back fit. Um, for me personally, obviously Madger comes straight onto the bench. Uh, we, we, we're struggling with options going forward. But I certainly would, if John Swift is fully fit and ready to go, I would start him. You know, uh, so far this season, John Swift has been Albion's greatest uh, attacking threat. Uh, and I think he has got to start if he is f fully OK. But it should be a good atmosphere inside the Hawthorns today. I presume Ipswich Town are bringing in a lot of fans. They've been travelling really well and in big numbers so far this season. Hopefully the Albion makes some good noise as well. I'm here with uh, Ollie, big Albion fan. Playing Ipswich today, what, what do you think? Well, I haven't been down much this season, but from what I've seen on the telly, I think we've got a very a good attacking side. And I think obviously having players like Swift and Major back will obviously benefit the team a lot. And I think it suits Carlos Corbran's style of football a lot. Obviously, uh, playing a big side today, Ipswich, uh, should be a good crowd. What do you think the atmosphere will be like? Well, I think firstly saying that it's going to be a good game against a team that's obviously come up and nobody I think really expected to be second, third place in, in the league. It's, I think it's going to be good. I've heard that there's near enough a full away end, so hopefully that'll get the Hawthorns rocking and hopefully rile up some of the home fans to uh, you know start screaming and chanting on the boys. you got a score prediction? Well, you've said a draw, Will, so I think I'm going to go 2-1, Albion. Uh, God, who's going to score? I think, I think personally, just because my dad likes to always put money on it, I think it'll be Kyle Bartley to get to get a lovely cheeky little goal, and then I think we'll see Thomas Asante get one. I don't think that's a bad shout, mate. And uh, you, you do you cover a lot of non-league football. Yeah. Um, the Express and Star cover a lot of Albion. And I see you've been writing it, some yeah. pieces in there. Where, where can people find you online? And that? So you can find me online on Twitter at OF Graphics, which with a Z at the end. So I'm here with uh, Harvey, big Albion fan. Got me to it today. What, what were you thinking? Uh, I think it's a game that has 1-1 one, one written all over it. Uh, I'm hoping for a late, I think it's going to be a late equaliser. Um, but it's going to be a very tactical game, very possession based game. And especially with a, a team coming up and proving so many wrong. Uh, currently second in the league, I believe. And yeah, it's going to be a very tactical game. Who's going to score for the Albion? I feel like Bartley might get another one. I feel like Bartley to say, uh, to carry on his tally of still being uh, one of the league goal scorers despite not being an, uh, an official Albion player still released but, yeah. and uh, I think as it stands Sunderland losing we're in the top six do you reckon we'll be there come the end of the season uh, as a possibility I feel like it's going to be another battle uh, like last season even though we, it was a bit um, less likely we was going to make it but I think this season the way we've been performing uh, obviously last season we started off in the bottom three but to say now that we're in the top six, especially in November, uh, I think we have a very good chance and I think we'll finish between six or seven for the end of the season. So I'm here with a big Albion fan. Uh, introduce yourself, mate. My name is Jackson, I'm 10. I'm 
Jackson, uh, Ipswich Town today. But what's your score prediction? 2-0 to the Albion. 2-0 to the Albion. Who's going to score? Dane Gordon and Santos. And uh, currently in the top six, looking well. Ipswich Town in the top two. Do you reckon both teams will be there come the end of the season? Yeah. Yeah. And what, what, what's your favourite Albion song? The Liquidator. The Liquidator. Do you, do you always give it a, a good sing? Yeah. All the best, mate. Give us a big up the Albion. Come on, you buggies. No Albion, Darnell Furlong with the goal from the corner. Set pieces are going to be massive today. Brilliant start from the baggies. We've been the better side so far. Very early on here at 1 0 Albion. So uh, half time, one nil to the Albion, and I can't have any arguments with that. Uh, brilliant first half performance. Uh, but, you know, when you one nil up against second in the league, you've got to be pleased. Uh, Ipswich have had their chances, though. They've been there's definitely two teams in this game. Uh, they've been quite wasteful at times. You know, for for the top goal scorers in the league, uh, they've missed quite a few chances. I've been impressed with Albion overall. Hopefully, we're still winning come full time. Two new Albion, Gian Garner with the goal. Uh, great counter attack from the Albion. It was almost four versus two. Really good finish as well. Albion have made a triple change. Uh, John Swift returns to the Hawthorne pitch. Uh, Jason Malumbi also comes on and Jeremy Sarmiento. They've replaced Yukoslu, uh, Phillips and Dion Garner who have all had very good games.
the game did finish 2-0 to the Baggies and what a fantastic evening at the Hawthorns. I thought the Albion were brilliant this evening and what a cracking result that was uh, to, you know, beat second in the league, Ipswich Town, so convincingly in the end. Uh, it, it's a really, really good signs. I thought Ipswich Town were, weren't great today, to be fair. I, I, I think they have been better in recent weeks. They're probably having one of their off days today. Uh, but Albion did make them look bang average. You know, Ipswich Town did have their chances in the first half, but they was very wasteful for the, the, the league's top goal scorers. You know, you, you'd expect a little bit more from them. But as poor as I thought Ipswich Town were, on the other hand, I thought Albion were excellent. We played some fantastic football at times. You know, the way he was knocking it around was really encouraging to watch. Uh, you know, that, that second goal, the counter-attack, was fantastic. We, we The speed between Ipswich going forward and then Albion winning the ball and committing so many men forward so quickly was again really good to watch. So many fantastic individual performances again. You know, another clean sheet for Alex Palmer. Uh, Kyle Bartley and Cedric Kipre solid at the back again. Uh, Grady Diangana going forward was excellent. You know, Jed Wallace, who has uh, had a bit of criticism from Albion fans in recent weeks, was excellent this evening as well. There wasn't really any Albion players that you could uh, fault tonight. Uh, even all the lads who came off the bench did put a shift in. It was good to see John Swift back on the pitch. Uh, he did well when he came on. Uh, he's going to be crucial for us in the next few weeks. Likewise, uh, it was good to see Josh Madger. I haven't seen much of him, to be fair. But I'm looking forward to seeing uh, him more often in an Albion shirt now. But that really is a cracking result for the Albion. And it puts us up to fifth in the league. We've still got a few very difficult games coming up. But, you know, we have tonight proved that we can beat anyone in this league when we're on top of our game. Cheers to the lads who came on for an interview. I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Thank you for watching until the end and I'll see you in the next video, guys.